NTT Data Podcast. Hi, this is Daria from NTT Data, and welcome to Innovation Insights a series of podcasts in which NTT Data picks out emerging technologies and concepts that are developed today and which we will think that will have a transformational impact on the world economy in the next few years. Today, we're going to talk about digital native working in the cloud, especially how innovative businesses are learning how to use shared development platforms and composable solutions to work in a much more agile and collaborative ways. It's when they start adopting these new working methods that the full value of the cloud can be really seen. So what does this digital native term really mean and why does it matter to us? Let's find out. When we think about moving to the cloud, the first motivation is probably cost saving. It should save you money, at least in the long term, because you don't need to own and maintain your own infrastructure and your mix of employees is likely to change as well. You may no longer have a large in-house IT department, for example, and you might decide to collaborate in some new ways across an extended ecosystem. Now, this is where significant change really starts to take place, because moving to the cloud is not simply about getting rid of fixed costs or making sure your IT becomes more scalable. It's really about becoming a digital native. That's a much bigger change altogether. So. What does it mean exactly? Let's look beyond the obvious cliche. And yes, digital native is absolutely a cliche these days. It's still a useful term though, because it signifies the ability and willingness not just to make changes around the edges, but to change something much more fundamental. To develop a different mindset, foster a new culture, rethink your organizational structures, and most importantly, to look for people who are themselves digital natives and give them the freedom to rethink, reimagine, and redevelop your company for the better. These are still generalizations. So what does this kind of change mean in practice? In simple terms, it means moving away from a strict definition of what is in-house and what is outsourced and moving towards a much more flexible form of collaboration. That means collaborating in the cloud for co-creation, co-development, and true ecosystem working. If you want the advantages of the digital native approach, we need to talk about development platforms and composable solutions. This is where your investment in cloud technology starts to deliver transformational benefits. So what exactly do we mean by a platform? In this context, it means a new way to develop products, solutions, concepts, whatever it is that your enterprise does. In the past, businesses focused on physical spaces, which they could own, manage, and control. Their own employees worked there, perhaps with a limited number of partners. When your business has transitioned to the cloud, you can set up development spaces that are entirely virtual which means your own people can be involved in a development project no matter where they're based, saving time, money, and energy. Then once your company is adapted to ecosystem working with your entire ecosystem also in the cloud, it's on to the next logical move. Now you can set up co-development platforms not wholly owned by anyone, where the people and capabilities can be mixed, matched, and scaled in much more flexible ways. You can bring team members together to brainstorm ideas, to build concepts and test them, to blend skills, experience, capabilities as you need them, and to change and evolve this mix of people continuously. That's the digital native way of doing things. People work and meet when they need to. They blend together in different teams for different projects. Then they split up and reform around a new task in a new team. If everyone is in the cloud, it doesn't matter where they are physically. They can still seamlessly collaborate. What's really new here is that maybe it doesn't matter who you work for either. Collaboration in this context is absolutely open and agile. Of course, 
people worry, rightly, about security in the cloud. And this question is both huge in scope and very complex. But what we need to know is this. The modern network cloud is designed to secure each interaction on a no-trust basis. We no longer use the old walled garden approach where having a strong perimeter is what matters, but instead make sure that each and every virtual space and connection is made safe and kept safe. The battle against bad actors and tech failure never ends, but we can say with some certainty that co-development platforms in the cloud are now just as secure as your own conference rooms or labs in your own campus. Now, second question is, what do we mean when we call something composable? It means building solutions from standard components or building blocks, which is not a new idea. Yet this approach is different in some important ways. The modules used to build solutions, products, even entire businesses can be accessed via web services through cloud-friendly interfaces. This means you can explore your entire cloud-based ecosystem to locate the modules you need. And the concept can extend beyond the product or service. Now you can make your whole business or any part of it composable. Now everything can be restructured to meet changing demands. That's very important in a world where everything is becoming more customized and targeted, from cars to medicines, consumer goods to insurance contracts. Whatever sector you are in, you face the same challenge. Replace a limited number of standard products, made in large numbers, with a much greater number of non-standard products, made in smaller numbers. Composability is the basic requirement for staying competitive. And through it, we can see the true power of the cloud at last, using the ecosystem and the intelligent connectivity of cloud technology to the full. You can co-develop on virtual platforms and build from composable modules. That creates a virtuous circle of shorter time to market, lower costs, and higher margins. That's the digital native way. That's when you not only transition to the cloud, you transform in the cloud. We have produced a lot of content on how to transform your business in the cloud and how important it is to change mindsets and cultures as a necessary stage in using the cloud effectively. For more information about emerging innovations, please listen to the rest of this series of podcasts and download the latest thinking from our website. Please join us next time for more technology insights.